Hi, I'm Daphne Richards. Our question this week involves getting unruly vines back onto their trellis. I recently had this issue myself with a very vigorous star jasmine. While outside on my back porch with gardening twine, I got tired of continually dropping the twine down between the, the trellis to the yard below while I clumsily tried to get it around the stem and into a knot. I'd also just spent the prior weekend tying up a very thorny shrub rose and had the scratches to prove it. I thought to myself, there has to be a better way. And the next day, when clipping my hair up before heading out into the garden, the proverbial light bulb went off. I could use my little hair clips to hold the stems in place until they established the growing pattern that would keep them where I wanted them. This technique worked so well that I had to go to the store and buy a lot more hair clips. Although much more expensive than garden twine, hair clips are easier and faster to use and could also be recycled year after year. And for time conscious, impatient gardeners like me, they make gardening chores more enjoyable and give me more time to plant and play in other areas of the yard. Unlike twine, hair clips can be easily removed without those annoying little knots that you need to untie or cut. And if you have vines or brambling plants that need to be attached more permanently, I found that plastic zip ties are a good alternative and hold the stems in place more tightly. Be sure to use twine or zip ties somewhat loosely on large stemmed or woody plants to keep the plant from growing around the tie and becoming part of the stem. Our plant this week is ornamental kale. This winter annual is another great choice to bring color to garden beds that would otherwise be empty during the colder months of winter. The foliage grows as a tight, colorful rosette until it shoots up a flower spike once the weather warms up. Ornamental kale is available in a wide variety of colors, but the most common are green, purple, or white accents. Unlike most other plants in the home garden, ornamental kale, with their round shape, look great when arranged systematically in tight rows or other patterns. You can also use them alone in pockets among other attractive winter edibles and herbs, or to brighten spots with dormant plants all around. Plant ornamental kale in areas of full sun or only light shade and water infrequently, or never if winter rains abundant. The plants tolerate a wide variety of soil types and also perform well and look great in shallow containers. A small plant, ornamental kale gets only 6 to 12 inches tall and about 18 inches wide. To do in your garden this week, it's a great time to plant trees and shrubs, and also to move them if you need to while they're dormant. There's also still time to plant and prune fruit trees and berries, and to plant bare root trees and roses. We'd love to hear from you, so please visit klru.org ctg to send us your questions and pictures from your garden.